right, Bishop. Bring it out, Brian. Reverend Jackson said, oh, but uh, he was found not guilty. Yeah. But let that be me or you. With the same with the same evidence. That's right. And no money. That's right. <laughs> and no fame. Yeah. Huh? We be we'd be there now, wouldn't we? Yes. Doing time. Yes, and you know pedophiles in prison. Oh, yeah. oh glory. Amen. They hate them. Yes. They have to segregate them. Yes. Yeah, they put them in a special place. Amen. Because the prison population, young people and thugs and rob banks and so dope and think pedophile? You mean to tell them you attack children? Amen. They wait till they get an opportunity oh, and yes. they, they stick a screwdriver yes. in your back. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, bitch. Oh yeah, they hate oh, yeah. they hate pedophiles. Right. Right. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Anytime a person wants to fool around with children, yes, preach, and you're gonna make an idol or a hero out of him. That's preach, right, bitch. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much money he's He's giving you, Reverend Jackson. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. What's that other Reverend? Uh, Sharpton. 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 I, don't, I don't know how much. I don't know how much you're getting out of the insurance package or whatever. Amen. I don't know. But they don't make no hero out of me. Amen. Amen. They won't let me go on Larry King Live. Right, Amen. 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 Show up. All right. It's all right. Mm. It ain't gonna be no statue to me. That's right. And I'm teaching the truth. Are you right, Bishop? Amen. That's right. He lived a lie. Yes. He didn't even know what he was himself. Yes. Amen. Shot so much dope till the veins collapsed. Sure did. I said that the other day. Yes. Anytime you're a drug addict for so many years, yes. it affects the veins. Yes. Amen. And when your veins are gone, they go in the neck. Yes. Now you know that's a person who's showing up love dope. Amen. <laughs> A needle in his neck. You know, you know how much he loved him. And had a doctor, 24 hours standby. How much do you think a doctor who had license in three different states? How much doctor average? Three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a year? Yes. At least. How much could he possibly have been paying him to live at his villa and minister nothing but to him? Now, you know he had to be paying that man an awful lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I seen in the news last night, they didn't come after him again, and they raided his office in yeah. Houston, Texas. They're trying to put this link. Who gave him that last shot? <laughs> oh, that kicked him over. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, of course, he got a lot of money, too, now. Amen. You can imagine, he got a lot of money. Oh, amen. So he'll probably curve around. <laughs> Nobody really goes to prison, but... Working class people. That's right, man. Did y'all know that? Uh, hey, bring it out, Prophet. Y'all heard of E.F. Hutton? Did y'all know E.F. before they found out about all this money and Wall Street and robbing these people? Do you know E.F. Hutton stole billions? And when they caught him, do you know you have never heard nothing, nothing else about it? That's right. Amen. They told him, said, come here. Now, don't you do that no more. <laughs> and go on. So he said, oh, thank you. And he picked up the suitcase. <laughs> yeah. and <laughs> And the only ones they get is the ones who really, <laughs> they, they go against the big fellas. Amen. You know, big fellas divided up. And this last guy, what his name? Uh, Madoff. 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 Yeah. He got so greedy mm -hmm. until, I mean, I mean, he was taking like a million dollars a week <laughs> to himself. It wasn't giving the big fellas, you know, wasn't cutting up the pie right. Yeah. And they said, no, we got to make an example out of you. You can't have you can't have nobody getting that far in line. So, uh, how old are you? Well, I think he's 76. Uh, well, <laughs> bye. <laughs> you, know, you done had your fun anyhow. Bye. We let you go a long time. You know. Amen. Bye. And he ain't, he ain't mad. He left, I guess he left his wife a whole lot, but they, they're trying to take that from him. Amen. Amen. But I'm trying to show you, church. It's the working class people that they come at. Yes. This is why we need a savior. This is why we need to deliver. And this is why you need a prophet to teach you these things. Because Creflo uh, and uh, uh, Benny Hinn, them people are not Joyce Meyer, they ain't going to teach you this. Amen. Hallelujah. Where am I? All right. We're back there. Let's go back to where I was at. Is that six rooms? Uh, yeah. Uh, did I conclude? No, no, uh, Romans 6 chapter, we're going we're gonna to finish this. I'm trying to show you 
the error of these false prophets by teaching you that grace alone saves you. Grace saves you before you could save yourself. But after you've been converted, now you are obligated yes. to walk in the newness of life and to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is a reasonable service. Now, we conclude in, in, in chapter 6. Verse 18. Back, be, back up to 17. That's, but God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. You were the servants of sin. But ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made... You have obeyed from the heart. The inner man now has obeyed the scripture. Now, I'm, all, I'm through with cigarettes. I'm through with narcotics. Throw the needle away or whatever. I'm through with all that. Verse 18. Being then made free from sin, you became the servants of righteousness. Now I'm free from sin. Now I'm a servant of righteousness. Watch. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so, now you, your members, servants to righteousness and to holiness. Now, y'all yes. see that part? Yes. Yes. I used to yield my flesh to uncleanliness. Iniquity means sinfulness. Now, I'm going to yield my flesh, members, my flesh, service now to righteousness and holiness. Verse 20. For when you were servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. When you were servants of sin, you couldn't live right. Amen. Read. What fruit had you then? What is your results? Yes. 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 Where's the results of your where's your testimony? Yes. What about your character now? Yes. What fruit had you then and those things where you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. Yes. The end of a sinful life mm -hmm. is shame. Amen. And eventually death. But if you're not taught this, how are you gonna know it? Right, right. Amen. Deuteronomy 20, 25. Glory. Amen. Amen. Preach prophet. Yes, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. A woman should not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Glory. If a man wears pants, a woman cannot Glory. wear Hallelujah. pants. That's and that's the Bible. Now I told you, Old Testament scripture can only be changed in the New Testament if there is a statute from an apostle to change that ordinance that came out of the Old Testament. You can't find nowhere in the Bible, New teach, Testament scripture, teach. where an apostle ever changed this ordinance. Yes. Read. Neither should a man put on a woman's garment. A woman can't wear a dress. I mean, a man can't wear a dress. A woman can't wear pants. That's right. That's why a woman got to dress modest apparel. Now, the leader states what is modest because modest can be held in different ways. Amen. So I'll tell you what modest is. Amen. Modest means you've got to have that skirt down. Amen. Yes. So when you sit down, it's still down. Amen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. You cross your legs, it's still down. Amen. That's right. Amen. Praise God. All right, now I want to finish up 1 Timothy 2 and 9. I only got half of it. Come right in there. That's why we teach our sisters to wear dresses. Yes. That's right, and not to wear pants. Yes. Because God says.